For a smartphone user, the most annoying feeling in the world is having no network coverage on your phone. It can feel like the end of the world if those network bars don't pop up in the top corner. In such situations, your phone probably informs you, no network, emergency calls only. But wait, how could you make emergency calls if you don't have any network coverage on your phone? As you may know, network towers are an indispensable component of wireless telephony. Suppose that you want to call a friend. As soon as you hit the call button, your phone sends a signal to the nearest network tower. From there, the signal goes through a series of steps to arrive at another tower, the one nearest your friend. Finally, the signals from the tower are received by your friend's phone and the conversation can begin. The bars in the top corner of your phone indicate your network service provider's usable strength. If the bars disappear, network coverage isn't strong enough to make calls or send SMS. So how can you make those emergency calls? As mentioned, cell phones require network coverage to make calls. But if the usable strength of the mobile network of your service provider isn't good enough where you're making the call, then they will use the network of another service provider whose usable signal strength is strong enough to complete the call. GSM technology is designed so that you can use the network of another service provider in the absence of network coverage from your own service provider. However, your access to it will be limited, hence the emergency call restriction. In the absence of your normal network, your phone camps on a roaming network. If the roaming network is also not strong enough, then your phone jumps on the best network signal available in your vicinity, regardless of the source company. Emergency calls can then be made. In some Western countries like the United States and England, people can connect to an emergency number such as 911 or 999 even if their SIM cards aren't working properly. This is because it is not the SIM card, but rather the antenna of your phone that connects you to a network tower. A SIM card only has the phone number and carrier info, so it is not necessary to make an emergency call. In such cases, since the SIM is dysfunctional, the emergency service center won't get the caller ID or the caller's location, but the call can still be connected. Now, if you happen to be in a place where there is absolutely no network coverage by a service provider, you're out of luck. Since there is no network tower nearby that can receive or send your phone signals, your phone will be completely ineffective. Given this, it's essential for people who travel to remote places to have communication security in the form of satellite telephones or radios in the case of emergencies requiring immediate assistance. If a visit to the jungles of the Amazonian basin is in your future, Ensuring that you have the necessary communication devices for the journey is a very wise choice.